It's time to get creative as hell. Be strong. Be strong. Everybody, we are live. Ooh. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Creatives Hale. I'm your host, Amy Hale, here with my fabulous husband and co-host, John Hale. And tonight, we're thrilled to have Annalisa Grant with us. But before we jump in, we need to take care of our usual business first. So let's start out with, let me grab my graphic there. Let's talk about our Patreon supporters. Uh, a big thanks to our supporters on Patreon. With their help, we've been able to purchase new equipment for the show. And with your continued support, we will work hard to bring you the best show, books, and other entertainment we can. Little hint, if you're a patron right now, you can currently go and check out my latest post and get a sneak peek of my upcoming book. Sorry, upcoming, not anymore. It's released, <laughs> my mm -hmm. new book, Neurosis. Uh, so you can support us for as little as $1. So if this is something you're interested in, please check us out at the address at the bottom of the graphic. You can also find that link in the show notes. The show notes are below if you're watching on YouTube or above if you're watching on Facebook. Let's also talk about the Rising Tide Network. We're very proud that Creative as Hail is part of the Rising Tide Broadcast Network. Our fantastic group of shows are listed on the graphic. Take a screenshot or check out the Rising Tide Network link in the show notes for more information. If you're looking for great entertainment and education, you'll find it in the Rising Tide. And a reminder about upcoming appearances. John and I will be at the Indie Author Book Expo in Peoria, Illinois this weekend, you guys. We're finally starting to do this stuff again. We will be uh, also at Riders on the River in Peoria, Illinois on July 17th. And as other events draw near, here, let me... Let me change that and give you the, the graphic for that. There you go. That's where we're going to be this weekend. I hope you guys will show up. Um, I've got copies of Neurosis. I've got copies of Pulp Reality 2. So I've got a lot of new stuff to share with you guys. Um, and then, of course, like I said, July 17th, we'll be at Writers on the River with all these amazing, amazing, amazing authors. So we hope you will join us then. And let me click the right button there. <laughs> all right. So, of course... Um, show up with the current safety mandates. They've still got distancing and some mask regulations, so that's what we're doing. You guys can come this weekend and see my um, my fancy electronic mask that I have because that's what I'm going to wear this weekend. Got it charged and ready to go. So come by our table and say hello, and we hope you enjoy tonight's show. If you would, please be so kind to like the page you're watching it on. Give it a follow. We'd be ever so grateful. If you're with us on YouTube, please consider subscribing to our channel uh, and ring that bell so you don't miss a thing. Mm -hmm. All right. Without further ado, let's bring on our guest, Annalisa. Let me get her mic unmuted there. There we go. Hey. 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 Thanks so, so much nice. for joining us tonight. Absolutely. It's so nice to be talking to people that I love and miss so much. And oh, yes. It's been forever. <laughs> it's like decades. <laughs> I know. 2020 was like 10 years long. Yes. <laughs> I know, right? Right? I think right? it aged me 10 years anyway. That's for sure. Oh my God. Well, okay. That opener and graphic and everything was really great. And then put my picture up. I'm like, oh, that's false advertising. Because it's like, oh. <laughs> it's not even that color anymore. That's okay. I still use my professional headshot too. And I've gained about 60 pounds and my hair is shorter. <laughs> yeah, we're not talking about that. We're not talking yes. about that. It's, it's, Moving on. It's still me, so that's okay. That's right. <laughs> and it will be me again one of these days. I'm working on it. Oh, sure. Same. You and me both. Oh. And me both. I, I have my physical, like, it's because everybody wants to hear this, right? My yeah. doctor 
talking about the COVID-19, you know, you've got the freshman 15 and the COVID-19, like everybody is like, oh, it's just been the worst. It's been the yeah. worst. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. We're all never dating weigh, right now and yeah. So never yeah. weigh what I weigh now. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we wouldn't have to talk about because weight, right? King, now. king of snack. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's been you would have thought, you know, uh, wow, now would be the perfect time to get the home gym out, clean it all up, get all the clothes drug off of it. Put that baby to work. No. No, <laughs> no. no. I think uh I think I think we were all just kind of sitting around like, surely we'll be able to leave soon. Yes. <laughs> right. Well, then it was like, yes. you know, every time we said, Ollie, I need just like a week, a week at home just to like get all my stuff together, get organized and all that. And we are all liars. That we're was all liars. It was a huge lie. Yeah. yeah. A lie we've been telling ourselves for years and now we can't use it anymore. We were proven wrong. Yeah. Let's see. Ryan Permissen is with us. Hi, Ryan. Shared. Hey, thank you so thank much, you. Ryan. We appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Awesome. And Ryan's in with our questions. All right. So favorite book growing up. What was your favorite? Okay. Confession. I was not a reader when I was when I was a kid. I, I just That's wasn't. Okay. You know, some people weren't. And then I and I finished grad school and I said, if I never read the written word again, it'll be too soon. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It was terrible. And then I, um, and then a friend gave me a, a book by Ted Decker and then I was just in, I, that was it. But, but I do think back to when I was in high school, um, my senior year, uh, all the other teachers had their, you know, students reading like Watership Down and Weathering Heights and all of that. And my teacher had us reading Brave New World by Aldous Huxley, which was the weirdest thing I'd ever read, but loved it. I thought it was so cool. I thought it was so cool. Um, which is why I was really disappointed when they made the TV show and it's not good. <laughs> it's not, yeah. If you so just really can't like, compare at all. It really was, the book is better. Yeah. So, like, what, yeah. is, what are we watching yeah. again? We just, um, yeah. we just watched Woman in the Window. And, oh, um, yeah. How was that? I had listened to the audio book, which uh -huh. I enjoyed the story immensely. But I am going to say I almost stopped it several times because it was so slow. Like they put oh, you no. in like in the first little bit and yeah. then you get like every tiny detail of like her life. I mean, it's just, at some point you're just like, are we ever going to have anything else happen? Here? It's a, I don't care about this character that much. I, yeah, yeah. And you know yeah. what? And I found that I didn't really even like the character by the time we got to her story, her, her, you know, what was actually happening. Oh, wow. um, so that was really tough, but I kept thinking, no, this was a bestseller. It was yeah. hailed by all these people. I'm going to tough it out. And the end was definitely a, a, one of those twists that I love and I enjoyed it. So the movie yeah. left some things out and I imagine yeah. if they hadn't of, it would have been a 12 hour movie. Been a mini series. <laughs> but yeah, um, but I did enjoy the movie. Um, I, there's just I some, thought the movie was good. Yeah. And he didn't, hadn't read the book. So I, you know, there were yeah. times I was like, okay, let me explain this. <laughs> Yeah. Pause. Okay. So this is happening. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So this is why she's doing right. it. You know. But yeah. um. So we were talking about it. And he was kind of like, I said, okay, let me ask you, is this confusing you? And he's like, a little bit. And I'm like, okay, that's because they left out this. <laughs> so I yeah. loved it, but at the same time, I read the book and I knew all the stuff that you didn't. Yeah. No. So. so it was, yeah. it was kind of a good and a bad because I think you can enjoy it without it, but you might be a little confused if you haven't read it. Yeah, I would have liked, I would have, yeah. I would have liked just a little bit more detail, <laughs> a little more information about some they, things. They, they jump. It, it's yeah. almost like yeah. you got up to go get a snack and something major happened, and you come <laughs> you back and sat down, and in, and in, and you and you're like, oh, <laughs> I'll just rewind that. that. <laughs> I'll just rewind okay, that yeah. and catch up, no, and no. then. No, I yeah. didn't miss a thing. <laughs> they yeah. just didn't tell me. Yeah, the, <laughs> that's they, the they was, was, a lot of stuff should be was was insinuated that maybe wasn't as clear. But yeah. however, oh, yeah. I just enjoy it and I love Amy yeah. Adams and I yeah. think she did an amazing right. job. Yeah, absolutely yeah. awesome job. And like I said if you're a little confused watching it, just wait to the end because the payoff is amazing. It does yeah. have a okay. really twisty, messed up end that you just kind of throws you for okay. a loop. Yeah. So. I love those kind <laughs> of yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. So okay. So favorite books. Do you have a favorite book now? Um kind of Obviously anything other than I, the ones you write. 
Like, I mean, outside of mine. As my, as my, as my friend Brian says, I'm my right. favorite author. <laughs> I am my favorite author. <laughs> well, it's, it's funny because I just revised the Lake series. And so I was like, I went through and I, you know, I'm reading it and I'm revising and I'm, I'm, you know, you know, cleaning it up a little bit. And I turn to my husband, I go, this book is really good. <laughs> like, <laughs> I love this story. <laughs> this is so good. I like, it just do. I like, I just, I love, I just love the story. Yeah. So, but, but yeah. that's really fun. Yeah. Um, well, let's see. Favorite book right now. Um, well, I'm reading another Ted Decker book. I'm slightly obsessed. It's his new one called Play Dead. So, um, it's very, very good. Um, I'm know. not familiar with him. What is his genre? Here, I'm, hey, Ted, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm wow. advertising the book. <laughs> right there, and it's a big oh, book. Yeah, he, yeah, it was a big one. He um he writes uh thrillers, psychological thrillers, um yeah, I, really I good stuff. stuff. Yeah, where you're like, oh, whoa, 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 what? No, yeah. you know, and so it's like, yeah, 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 really, really good yeah. stuff. Heard that one. Yeah. yeah, so like one, one that I just favorite. released. Is a psychological thriller as well. Yes. Oh, and it's my first one. Yes, and I one clicked it. Oh, did you? Oh, Yay! Thank you. <laughs> I won. Of course. Yay. So yeah. So yeah, it was, it's one of those where I love those really messed up, throw you for a loop mm -hmm. kind of endings, and yeah, you're like you're like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. 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 Those are my favorite yeah. kind. Oh yeah, my favorite Ted Decker is um, the Bride Collector. So there's a lot of, you know, it's, it's, I think it's like his most messed up one. So I really love it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, here. This one's like, even more messed up than the others, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. The next time we're the, all the, we want to stay close together if she's around. We end up disappearing. <laughs> <laughs> it's research. It's, it's research. research. Yeah. Uh, let's see ryan's his favorite movies or tv series okay so all right ryan um my favorite movies i have, I have two it's always a toss-up between sliding doors and inception and then my favorite tv series um my children laugh Yay. at me because i have done a rewatch of the good place 10 times <laughs> i love the show and i've done a rewatch of schitt's creek about five times yeah. So yeah. I love they're they're so smart. Yeah. They are so funny. Um you just you love you you just love everybody in them. Um yeah. and with Inception, I like that heady stuff, you know, like yeah, getting in there and going, oh well and if you have you seen it? I've Inception? seen parts of it. I've, I've actually I've got it in my watch list because I haven't had time to sit down and watch the whole thing. Started and yeah. something happened. Yeah, or... yeah, you got to sit down and like really like zone it. Yeah, yeah. that's what I was like. I need to make sure I can just pay attention. With this one. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. Yeah. It's so yeah, good. yeah. But again, sure. love those kind. I love those that yeah. mess with your head a little, make you think. Um, that's something like even like one of my favorites is Doctor Who, mm -hmm. which is still going. But I love how the time, you know, he's time traveling. So this happens and then this happens and then this happens. And then you're like, wait a minute, that happened because he did this. But that happened because that happened. <laughs> and you, and you try to map it out and it's just like this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I, love I need that. to do another try because I started at the very beginning and the mannequins freaked me out. And I was like, I'm not sure I can oh. get on board with this. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is my thing. <laughs> So, yeah, there, are, there are some definitely some weird, some weird stuff. Yeah. Unique characters, but it's also that. very yeah. funny. It's very, um, I think, heartwarming at times. Yeah. And so depends two on what hearts. you're into. Both hearts. Just too heartwarming, yes, because he's got two hearts. <laughs> <laughs> the doctor has two, two hearts. hearts. <laughs> yes, he's an alien with two hearts. Um, okay. So yeah, so that, and then with me, of course, the Office and Supernatural are pretty much on rerun all the time at our mm -hmm. house when I'm doing something. So the kids will come over and they'll be like, oh. You're watching that episode again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah pretty much. Yeah. Cause I can uh, watch it, but not watch it. Right. You know, I can do other things, but it's like, I can hear it. I know what's happening. I yeah, yeah. It. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, I totally, totally understand. Totally yeah. get that. Yeah. Let's see. Ryan's, it's time to raise some hail. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So what, which books should be adapted as a TV series that haven't been adapted yet? <sighs> This one. <laughs> Actually, isn't that one in the works? My books. 
It it is. Um, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it is. It's a very long process. Um, having yeah, your your work option, you know, and yeah. then COVID hit, and then everybody's like, well, "We'll see y'all next year. We'll just you know pick up from there and see what happens." Um, You're like, please, yes. Right? Yeah. Yes. yeah. Um, and you I'm trying think to think this would be the perfect time for. Them. Right, that they should be like you're not filming anything. Sit down and read everything. Yeah, get yes. it all ready. <laughs> so you ready? Yeah. Right. Um, right. <laughs> ready. I don't know. Um, I don't. I actually I'm really bad with this. Like I don't read a lot of series. I like because because I'm writing. I have a hard time um, investing like long term in a lot of books because sometimes it can kind of mess with me and my writing. So I try to I try to read something that is off of what I'm I'm writing, you know, yeah. so like I'm reading this psychological thriller, but I'm writing, you know, this uh, action um, adventure spy book, you know, so yeah. it's while they're both kind of thrillers, it's like on the different um, spectrum of the of the genre. Yeah. So yeah. Um, but there are definitely some books that I mean, I'd like to see, you know, turned into either a series or or a movie. Um, what is um I don't I like I think of like some of our friends' books that are are just great. You know, I you know I you love Walls would make a great right. I was just gonna say I was like there is a a a plethora of I mean that thing can go on you know like you know like Law and Order like forever. Okay, there's yeah. so much. did you plenty do it in years? Plenty yes, material. plenty of material. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. And I actually really like, and I mean, I don't have, I don't know how it would play out obviously, but um, I'm really a big fan of calling some of Colleen Hoover's earlier work, like slammed mm -hmm. yeah. um, those, those three books in that series. I, I really love those a lot. I, mm -hmm. I, 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 yeah, like I couldn't put those down. And so I think the story yeah. of that is really, is really good too. So yeah, um, yeah definitely. Yeah. Def there's, there's a lot. To choose from which is what makes me nuts when i see them rehashing old shows i'm like there's so much else you could be doing that's new or when you see something and you're like that got made yes yes, that, yes. it yes. was so that, bad the first got, time why are made. we going back to it? why are we doing this again <laughs> yes wow yeah. wow yes that's mm -hmm. like saying let's do the mullet again no oh god let's shut your mouth before somebody does it <laughs> yeah i'm pretty sure it's already happening i'm seeing you got yeah. you got the big hair coming back. I, we got bell bottoms. I mean, it's like a mix of everything, right? Now. <laughs> well, I can tell you right now, I will never have a mullet again. All right, all right. He's, he's promising. Listen, <laughs> not that I have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> never say never. Oh, never. never say never. <laughs> oh, I would love to have the hair come back. I can have one. <laughs> Like, I would love that to be a decision. Dear universe. Do I have to have one this week? I think I've got it. If it takes a mullet to get my hair back, I will do it. Bring oh it gosh. on. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Bring it on. But oh um, no. Oh so Michaela just said, hi, oh hi. Hey, hi so, cool. uh, so Ryan says, what genre do you want to write for in the future? Well, I think you probably want to start with talking about what you're what you write now. Yeah. So I kind of write all over the place now. Um, my first series is young adult series. Uh, then I have sort of a college age, which I guess, are they still calling that new adult because it's that I think college? So. I think it's still considered yeah. new adult. Yeah. And then I have like an adult action. Um, I've got um, a really dark um, adult thriller. And then I'm writing this action spy thriller series. So I kind of am all over the place. I just... Um, my brain doesn't work that way in like one, like in one thing. I just, yeah. I write what I like to read and I like to read a lot of different things. Yeah. So, and then my characters tell me what to do and I just obey. So that's what yeah. I do. <laughs> obey. If you don't, you pay for it. Yeah. They stop talking oh, yeah. to you for a while. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, so your, your thriller, was that 99 days? Yes. That yeah. Thriller? That was the, yeah. It was the really dark one. I don't know that I'll, visit something that dark again um because it's about a girl who gets kidnapped she's held for 99 days terrible things happen to her yeah. she escapes and then she goes back for revenge yeah so um some of it was really hard to write but i don't know the story was just there so yeah, yeah i'm not sure if i'll go back to that but 
yeah hmm. yeah it's understandable well you know i mean you, you tried it you, you know yeah. and that's that's the thing it's like i was in advised by a couple of people that maybe going this psychological thriller route without any romance was maybe not the best choice mm. because my brand up to this point has pretty much been romance. Mm -hmm. But I've been kind of veering away from romance and getting into the darker, even like with Havenwood Falls and mm -hmm. my Shadows trilogy, it went from light and fluffy kind of romance to let's just get a little darker and a little darker and a little less romance. <laughs> A little darker so i think that's yeah. just where i'm i'm starting to land and i mm -hmm. i loved writing neurosis so yeah um and i've got another uh, i've got a sequel in the works now so nice. i'm just like nice. yes i'll just write all yeah. this really messed up crap <laughs> and, right. hope it sells. and as as she's bounced this stuff off of me i've learned a lot about my wife mm. oh yeah I have a. Uh, I don't think I'll ever go back there again myself. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think he's probably he's learned more about right. mental illnesses. He's learned more about trauma and post traumatic stress. And pigs will eat anything. Right? <laughs> he's learned about so much. I'll be like, hey, babe, today during research, I learned this, and he's like, oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I thought you were looking for a pet. No, <laughs> you're not. I'm looking for a way to get rid of the body. What are you talking about? The body. <laughs> for research. For research. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure, it's research. Sure. Oh, <laughs> so, that's too much. so yeah, I'm like you. I don't want to be boxed in. I want to write whatever stories come to my head. And I have a lot of varieties yeah. that just kind of like I'm sitting there and bam, here we go. And I'm like, okay, I got to write that down for later. So. Oh yeah. And I've got, yeah. um, I have, uh, I have another book, um, that's based on a true story that's coming out, um, next year in February is the target date right now. But then I've also got two other first two other series that I've started. I've written the first book in both of those series and it's just put a pin in them for now. And one is, you know, um, kind of sci-fi and yeah. the other one is a little, you know, down home, Southern, you know, country girl, you know, so it's yeah, like yeah. my brain is all over the place. I had an MRI today. I think I'm going to see if I can, like, I legit had an MRI today. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh. I did. So I'm like, I'm going to take a look at those, the scans and see if there's something wrong up here. Maybe they tell me when I look at this, my thought process is, is there something going on here? I should yeah. be concerned about yeah, sure. Yeah, and I was plotting yeah. while while I was in there, so I'm like, I'd be really interested to know like what the what else you're gonna do while you're in there. Yeah, <laughs> my was, wow, yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you keep get the get the like this the screenshots or whatever, and then you can be like, this is the very moment when I came up with this right. Book. That's right. That would make That's a good right. cover. <laughs> 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 you want to oh, borrow your neurosis sequel so you can yeah, yeah there we go yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh awesome I so keisha a cuff from a cuff creation says hello beautiful people hey. we'll be seeing her in Taylor this weekend so that's exciting cool. let's see what else hey, carl hey, hey hey there carl. carl be seeing you this weekend yeah What's up, carl? carl will be there and and his wife donna oh let's nice see. Carl says, as we all abandon comic book spectrum, haha. -ha. <laughs> Just everybody come here. Everybody come here. Brian and them are good on their own. They can do their own thing now. So everybody needs to be right here. <laughs> oh, oh, gosh. Let's see. She says, hello, Carl. Agus is going to hop back. Haha. -ha. <laughs> She's going to go back. She's going to be going back and forth between the two shows. Split screen. Oh, uh, let's see here. Uh, okay. So we're, here we go. Okay. Jump, jump, jump. We shall meet again. again. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I heard about that, Carl. <laughs> Amy often has to prove that it's really her. For wait, for what? Are you talking about like with my books? <laughs> <laughs> I did have that conversation not too long ago with with someone about I have to put my photos because I don't just do books; I do comic cons as well. Mm -hmm. I had to put my photo on the banner because I've had people tell me. They didn't believe I was the one that wrote the books. They thought I was just a bookseller. Mm -hmm. Why? And I don't know. So I'm like flipping to the back of the book and showing them the photo. Like, and then they're, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then they're like, um, who, who, who was okay. the flash? Um, Sam Jones. Sam Jones. We, 
he come uh, the played the original Flash Gordon you in know, the 80s. Remember him? Oh, but, yeah. yeah. He comes walking by the table and she's gone. My and, picture was on the and banner. And the, the banner's there and he stops and then he backs back up and he looks at me real slow and he looks at the banner and he goes, you are not Amy Hale. <laughs> 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 and I'm like, no, I am not. <laughs> Thanks for noticing. Yeah. Thanks for noticing that. And yeah. he goes, so what is, what's going on here? And I said, well, I'm Mr. Amy Hale. <laughs> And and so later on, we actually end up all sitting around talking, and and that's fun. Goes, now it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, it was it was pretty funny. <laughs> well, okay, he's yeah. actually a very very fun cool. guy yeah. to hang around. Yeah, he is. He's pretty cool. But yeah, it's um. So I, I'm assuming maybe it's Carl. What you were talking about was that oh. that particular thing. Yeah, I've had to prove it's me, so that's always fun. <laughs> Let's see, Carly, Carlene. Hi, guys. Hey, Eric Hawkins. Evening, all. Eric, are you done with the other show? Wow. Are you sneaking off? They awesome. all heard. They all heard I was here. Well, you're here. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, so, Brian has monopolized our audience. <laughs> We're too, yeah. We, so Brian had, they has another show called Comic Book Spectrum that starts about an hour before ours. Uh -huh. And it tends to kind of bleed all into the same time. Uh -huh. so, okay. So anyway, Eric's part of that group, so he must be sneaking off here to to say hello. We appreciate it, Eric. Unbelievable, <laughs> unbelievable uh, uh, artist. Yes, Eric's wow. an amazing, amazing artist. Yeah. yeah. So Very they cool. they have they have they have snuck away to see you, Annalisa. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, Carl says, "Aren't you still on that <laughs> other show with me, Eric?" <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Yeah, Carl's over there like, you know, Eric's, you, you know, they've got the four squares. Eric's probably looking down and kind of like with his phone over here. <laughs> I'm wanna, not on the other show. I want to meet the other author here. Yeah. No mullet. Yeah, yeah. Keisha says no. I, you know, I agree. I don't, I prefer not. But like I said, if the universe would give him his hair back because he wants it, I love him the way he is. I would be okay with a mullet if that's what it took. I to have make to him admit, happy. this is easier. Oh yeah, <laughs> you know, up I've dropped from a, I've dropped from a seven and one down to a six and one shampoo now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I've saved a step. You saved a step, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. The, uh, I was guys kind of thinking, oh, man, how how nice it would be not to mess with hair. And then I used that app on TikTok that makes you bald. No. Oh. Not oh, no. going there. Mm -mm. Oh my gosh. Really. So there's the one on there that like takes your beard away. Yes. And so so they did that with my daughter did that with 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 Donovan. And the kids were like, no, get away. Stop it. Put it back. Put it back. Yeah. It looks so it's bad. So no, stop it. They're like, you are never allowed to shave. That's what they told me. Never. <laughs> so funny. You know, even hysterical. to this day, if my dad doesn't at least have a mustache, he looks strange to me because he's sure. always oh, yeah. had the full. Yes. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's weird. It's weird. But oh, that yeah. is a funny app. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, eclectic <laughs> yes very much so let's see delete browser, browser. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> no one will ever know yeah let's see so annalisa do you set a daily word goal um i don't actually um i probably should there's some areas in my writing well actually here's what i say i used to um but i haven't um recently just because i have like I think like a lot of us did. We had kind of like a little a little lull in in where we were in our writing and what we were doing. And you know, because the industry changed a lot. It's changed a lot since we first started. Oh yeah. Um the authors. Um, but I, I really, I mean, my honestly, my objective is just to to write as long in the day as my characters will talk to me. Yeah. And sometimes that ends up being 500 words and they're like, nah, we good. Yeah. Um, and then sometimes it's, you know, three or 4,000 words, you know? Yeah. So, um, cause I found that when I was sitting there going at times, okay, no, I need to hit my, I need to hit my goal. I need to hit my goal. I was writing crap. I was just writing yeah. just to write. And it's not, right. that's not productive because I'm going back and changing it because yeah. I'm, I'm telling the story and I'm not allowing the space for, 
for my characters to really move and and function within within their story. So yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, and yes. and there's been times where I've just been, I just got to get some stuff out, and then I can fix it. And then there's been other times where I'm like, this is yeah. a complete waste of my time. Right. Because nothing of this is going to be usable when I'm done. It's just putting right. words down for the sake of putting words down. Right. Um, so, yeah, there's that there's definitely that balance there, I think, of um, and then putting pressure on yourself on top of it does not help anything. No. But when no. your characters are talking to you, though, you got to run with it. Um, oh, yeah. You know, they just don't. And then you're yeah. you're sitting around just frustrated. Um, oh, sometimes yeah. My characters, unfortunately, start talking to me later in the evening. And quit about three, four in the morning. Hmm. And so we used to joke the cartoon with the uh, the sheepdog and um, Wiley Coyote, where they would call. Oh yeah, Ralph. Morning. Yeah, <laughs> that was him and yeah. I for a long time because he would be getting yeah. up to go to work and I would just be going to bed after an entire night of writing. Yeah, yeah. It's and it's been a while since I've had one of those late late nights, but I have had a I've had a couple recently because with this this new book, which is the fourth installment in the Victoria Asher series. I don't even have a name for it yet, but because it, it started out, literally started out as one thing. And then as I was doing my research, um, I heard, I found one thing, one piece of information in that research and that changed the entire story. Oh, it was like my, my oh, characters. Wow. Went, oh yeah, no, that's what we're doing. Yeah. And yeah. so it's been, um, I've had a few nights where it's like, okay, you know, cause they, they, this book is like the definition of when your character's, tell you to shut up and just, and are just dictating to you the story. Yeah. 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 It's well, been, you it's, and I even had this conversation when I was writing neurosis. Um, I was like, I, I was, had, had written this whole thing out and then I realized, Oh no, I have something wrong and I needed to go mm -hmm. back and fix. And so I was, I, yeah. I was panicking in RPMs just a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, she's like, just, you'll be okay. It'll be all right. But yeah, I just realized that I had written this entire book essentially with this particular diagnosis. And then I had it completely wrong. Despite the fact that I thought I'd researched the crap out of it, I yeah. had it wrong. And so I had to go yeah. back and make a lot of changes, but I believe it turned out better for it. So I'm not complaining. Right. Uh, yeah. I've just got to yeah. give myself more time next time. And I told him I'm not announcing another book until it's either done or almost done. Yeah, <laughs> not same. Doing that to myself same. again. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm trying to get through this one um, <clears throat> by the end of by the end of June, at least this draft, because that's when um, the editor for the book that's coming out in February. So they've already got the schedule. It's like, all right, so we're going to give you. Um, you'll have here your edits. And so I've got a whole schedule for it, which is really great. Isn't I've never had a schedule uh, when I traditionally published in the past. Yeah. Um, so at least now I, I can go, okay, great. Yeah. They're not getting this to me or their expectation for me to have my part done. Isn't going to be until here. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. So trying to get through this one. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. yeah. Sweet. So Carly Harleen says, there's your next story about the MRI and showing when you do stuff. Yeah, that could be an interesting one for sure. <laughs> you could call it my brain. <laughs> my brain. <laughs> uh, yeah. So Carl says, John, I no longer have to carry a comb in my pocket. Small favor. Hey, room for OCR. There you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Carl says, I will divorce Carl if he loses the facial hair and he can't afford that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, be like, that's it. It's over. You shaved. <laughs> uh, Carl oh says, God. I agree on the word count quality yeah. over quality. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Definitely. Yeah. Joe says, oh, yeah. Morning, Ralph. Morning, Morning Ralph. Morning. Morning. That was it. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Nice, oh. nice. So yeah, let's we, see. Let me yeah. put up here. You guys, this is where you can find Annalisa on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And you update Facebook pretty much more than everything else, right? Especially yeah. I'm, yeah. Facebook okay. and Instagram. Instagram, I'm not so much on. Um, I use it more personally. I do. I do, you know, do book stuff on there. But yeah, the, uh, Facebook is where you'll find more of my book stuff. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, so guys, go to facebook.com slash author Annalisa Grant. You'll find all the information you need on what she's doing. Um, so don't miss that. And let's pull up. Let me find. 
because she sent me some pictures. Okay, so she has a series she's working on now. Here's the very first one, Oxblood. I yes. read that one, you guys. It's really good. It's really oh, thank good. You. I admit that I have not read the other ones yet, but I have no, read that's that okay. one. That's okay. And um, I actually just revised this based on some conversation with the producers who have optioned it. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's actually, honestly, I love it even more now. I love it even more now. So awesome. it's so great. Yeah. Awesome. awesome. And then this is the next book, The Cure. Yeah. Which my, um, I have a neighborhood book club. I don't have it. There's a neighborhood book club. <laughs> it's not mine. <laughs> um, and so they're all very kind and sweet. And last year's book club, they read Oxblood. This year's book club, they read The Cure. So they're all very, very sweet. And so um, I think next year's book club, they, they want to do, they're talking about doing mind games. So right. they're just, they're just so sweet and wonderful and kind and generous. And I love all of them. They're wonderful. Now, this is the one that just came out, Mind Games? Yes. Yep, okay. that's the most recent one. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. you guys go check it's out like this. Kind of stuff. Yeah, it's definitely your kind of stuff. You would love it. Um, this is a great series. Like I said, I've read the first book, um, and it's it definitely keeps you engaged and entertained. It keeps you hopping. <laughs> I remember in the first one, I kept thinking, "Okay, what? Wait, wait, what? What? Okay, okay, okay." <laughs> Yay, <laughs> it's it's page, 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 page. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So this is a great series. And like she just said, it's was it's being optioned, correct? Yeah, it's been optioned for television. And I feel really, really fortunate for the team behind it. Um, it's great. I mean, my agent, Italia, is fantastic. She's, I love her. I love Italia. Um, She's amazing. Isn't she amazing? So we're just giving all the love to Italia tonight. Yes, um, Italia, all the love today. <laughs> yeah. And, um, and I just feel really fortunate. I mean, the, the producers who've optioned it, they, you know, they were producing CSI for 20 years. Um, one of them wow. was working on the reboot now. And then, um, you know, the, one of the other guys, he's, um, he's up in Vancouver uh, producing Superman and Lois with Greg Berlanti yeah. right now. So, yeah. so it's really fantastic. I feel really, really blessed. And, um, you know, it could take, it could be this year, it could be five years from now. They are working yeah. so, so hard, you know, um, it's just, it's very competitive out yeah. there. And so, yeah. um, but I think it's going to be great. I really do. I think it's going to be great. Well, and I mean, and you've had it optioned and that's something that a lot of people don't even get the opportunity for is just the option alone. Um, that's a big yeah. deal. That's a big it deal. is a big deal. Yeah. And I had a conversation with a friend of mine um, a couple months ago and I'm, I haven't been super, I mean, people in my circle know about my books and know that they've been optioned, but I don't tell a lot of new people about it, but um, I was sharing it with her and I was like, oh, you know, it's kind of, it's been optioned and I was kind of like all, you know, uh, about it. And she's like, why, why are you doing that? You should be excited, be excited. This yeah. is a part of your, of the story of your success of your books and, and what's yeah. going on. And, and she was right. Like I had to sort of like sit back and go, I'm not being braggy. I'm just saying, here's what's going on in my career yeah. and I'm really excited about it. And yeah. so, yeah, so I'm really excited struggle, about it. I struggle a bit with the imposter syndrome stuff, but I guarantee mm -hmm. if something of mine got optioned, I would make sure everyone knew about it. <laughs> I would be like, see, it's not as bad as I thought. <laughs> they like me. They really like me. <laughs> There's at least one out there that likes me. That's right. Yeah. Mm, yeah, no. I, I think I would. I would probably get to the point where I'd be like, "Okay, Amy, don't be obnoxious. Just, just yeah. <laughs> like, you have to make a deal with God. It's like, okay, if I get here, you just have to like flick yeah. me really hard. Just just do this, <laughs> just smack me on the butt, whatever. <laughs> just let me know. Gets the credit card right. receipt at the restaurant. Who would you like me to make this out? <laughs> 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 oh, sorry, never mind. <laughs> They're like, just put a tip on there, lady. I don't care. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, let's see. Carl says good cover. Oh, thank you. And thank I like how you keep the same layout for consistency. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That's yeah, absolutely. So important. Yeah. 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 Um, Michael Canales um um designed those. And so he's really fantastic. I yeah. Love them. Cool. Yeah. That's they awesome. they are great. And like her leg series is the same way. It has a great <laughs> consistent layout. Yeah. Look, I've got one here. Yeah. Oh, so what I was, right? Yeah. Um, 
So what I like, uh, what I love about Lake Series covers is the first cover and the last cover um, um, are actually, because uh, it takes place in David's North Carolina, which is about 45 minutes from where I live. Um, and so I, I wrote a lot of the book up there too, which is a lot of fun. Um, but um, Marissa with uh, Cover Me Darlings, she and I drove up there walked all around, took pictures at the lake. And, and so we got some really great stuff up there. So I'm really, really pleased with how, so how they, they actually yeah. from the lake in the general area where the book is based. That yeah. Is cool. Oh, that's really neat. Yeah. I need to write a book yeah. in England or Ireland. And yeah. See, and, tell, and stay there until it's finished. <laughs> 12 book series. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I live here now. Guess what? <laughs> That would totally be me. Oh my goodness. That would be yes. me. Oh no, I, I live I live oh, here now. Okay. Well <laughs> that's like, yeah. Google Earth is my friend because yes. um the Victoria Asher series is all over the place, you know, in um in England and in Belgium and in Russia and in um Germany and you know they're they're just all it's all over the place and so um yeah Google Earth will be your friend so yes, yes. I have used it many times like the the neurosis is based Street View in Chicago <laughs> essentially mm -hmm. um and so yeah. um, I had to there's specific places and while I didn't name them I was like mm -hmm. no, the art street on Kingston I need to go to the mm -hmm. art, uh, I need to go to the art store in Kingston so mm -hmm. I look up because I know it's there and I believe it's mm -hmm. um I think it's a Dick Blick. I look it up and I go and I look at how the front looks. I look at the sidewalk. I look at the street mm -hmm. because I have to describe all this and yeah. people will call you out if you get it wrong. <laughs> oh yeah, they will. Yeah, they will. Yeah. I mean, like, so, so for, so for this, for this book, um, my, my cousin is the chaplain at Quantico and, um, yeah. And so he is super smart about so many things. And so part of the story where it takes place, I needed to get some information from him. And so we had this whole conversation and I was telling him like, you do all this research and you do all this. And it's for like, and as I told him, like, I promise you, this will end up being like three lines of the whole book oh, yeah. Yeah. because, you know, it's like yeah. it's not a book about this. I just yeah. need an understanding. Yeah about some things so that because somebody will come back and go, Oh, that's not how that works. Yeah. You know, exactly. you make yeah. mind. Yeah. I mean, um, yeah. I, I, another author that I know, um, has like, uh, high school football in, in her book. And she went back and she looked at like particular dates to see if a game would have actually taken place on that particular night of the week or that particular date. Yeah. Because it would have to have been a Friday night because yeah. somebody's going to go. They wouldn't have. That wasn't that night. Yeah. I mean, they were, I, they were away that night. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. So, so yeah. yeah. And, and like, like we, we do that to really honor our readers and yeah. understand that they're investing in what we are writing. I mean, yeah. you want to do it half ass, like give them, yeah give them the good stuff yeah. you know yep. if they're paying make sure it's worth their money to read to yeah read and that's oh, yeah. there's a, a brazilian steakhouse in my book as well and so i looked mm -hmm. it up and i went through it i looked at the menu i looked at what alcohols were available i wanted to make sure that whatever my oh, yeah. characters did fit with the actual place yeah and i swear i keep looking of course then i sit and look at the menu and i'm like i'm really hungry <laughs> I made a terrible mistake. Oh my gosh, this yeah. is a bad idea. I should have done this after dinner. Because there's a pandemic going on, <laughs> and they're closed. <laughs> but um, but yeah, it's 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 you really have to dive into the details, and some yeah. of those details you may never use or may get cut in editing. But it's yeah. just important to tell the best story you can with the most factual information you can get your hands on, especially if yeah. you can't go there personally. Yep. So that's right. why Google Earth is amazing oh, for that very yeah. reason. I'm like, oh, yeah. so thankful we have that technology because if we didn't, I don't know how I would describe some of this stuff. No, right? We might have to look up in like like the encyclopedia or something. Oh, God. 
I don't even know you if I what? have an encyclopedia. You know what? <laughs> in a book? <laughs> I have to look something up in a book to put it in, in my book. Nah. Isn't, that, isn't that plagiarizing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was all of my high school papers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, copy, copy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, oh, I wrote it word for word. I have to change a word or two. <laughs> Let me change four words and then we'll be yeah. good. That That's makes it. Fine. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Well, I um, spelled so bad in school that there was no, the teacher knew if I wrote it or not. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. 100 on the story. Uh, spelling. Hmm. <laughs> oh, gosh. I have to talk to Miss oh, Jones about how you're doing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh gosh! You know, I used to. I was on the road all the time. Uh, one of my, uh, I, I loved Louis Lemoore's stuff, mm. and one of the reasons why I liked his audio mm. CD is he always put a section at the end of the book where he just kind of sat down and talked to the reader, you know, about oh history in the westerns, you know, and it's like. I learned so much, but his, his stories were always just different than what you see on TV, you know? Mm. And, and I, it was his story that I actually learned that there was never a recorded story of a gunfight at high noon. He said, oh, you'll never, a- you'll, you'll actually never see that. Uh, and he said, but boy, in the movies, we're going to meet at high noon out in the middle of the street yeah. and have this out, yeah. you know? Yeah. And, yeah. and he goes, there's not a, a recorded event ever uh, about it, you know? And, and, oh, and, so but funny. he gave this, you know, a little got into detail about the, the, the layouts of town, even, you know, yeah. there, the bars were never in neighborhoods. They were always on a different side of town than okay. churches, than churches and houses. Uh, and he said, so if you, if you ended up getting in a bar fight, you went out of your way from home to get into a bar fight because they were not in the same part of the town. Never that way. But I, 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 appreciate, I appreciated that as a, as a listener and a reader, I, I appreciated him going out of his way to explain, Hey, this oh, is yeah. why, this is, this puts you in the right, right mind frame, you know, and, uh, Vince Flynn, uh, who is one of my favorite for suspense and military and all that kind of stuff, um, which hated he passed a couple years ago now, but Ooh. he was that same way. He he was a Washington insider, and oh, wow. he really uh, he would really just kind of have that conversation with you, letting you know how how and why things worked the way they worked. You know, That's, and it it it, it yeah. really made it, every one of his books just seem to come alive at that at that point. But yeah, That's really I appreciate that. all you guys' hard work. <laughs> Thank you, babe. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, like I know I'm someone I was uh, reading and on Facebook the other day. Someone um, was using was it the, was it was it Brit British. British English compared uh-huh. to American English. And mm-hmm. they were asking, you know, do you know, have you ever heard this term? You know, and they were saying that someone had mentioned maybe putting like a little mini dictionary in the back with these slang terms that aren't common oh, yeah. That's for cool. Americans. That way yeah. if they're reading, they can actually, you know, look and see what these things mean and it, it'll oh, kick yeah. in a better way. But that's kind of a good idea. It is, if, especially with that. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, I know what some things are. But then there's other things I'd be like, I've never heard that term in my life. I have no idea what it is. Yeah. Of course, I guess growing up, growing up in Oklahoma, I could probably do the same thing in some of my books and be like, <laughs> okay, I'm sure y'all, I'm sure y'all have never heard of this, but <laughs> this means that's so and then, funny. And then I could be like, in Oklahoma, we oh, say God. this, and it sounds really stupid, but this is what it means. Yeah. <laughs> what it means? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we have to clarify oh, what tar right. is. What tar? It's not a tar tar on the car. And it's, it's not the, the one you get the signal off of no. out there in the backfield. <laughs> it's, the it's what they patched the road with. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, my darn. Maybe <laughs> spell it. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's a dog. Oh, oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. I look back at some of the things we used to say as kids and I'm thinking, oh, my gosh. Some how did of this stuff. How did we even know how to communicate at that point? Right? Yeah. Yeah, how do I know we speak? Why, when, when, yeah. we to, when, we, when we went out of town, everybody kind of looked at us funny. <laughs> I actually did go to Nashville for a music um, festival oh when gosh. I was in high school. And we were in funny. all of the different towns were in the hotel. And we did have some kid from Iowa. No, not Iowa. Where was it? It was Indiana. I mean, okay, so Indiana, Oklahoma, they're not that different, you know. But he asked us if we had cars or if we drove tractors <laughs> around town. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> He yeah. asked if you had cars or if you drove tractors. He drive, yeah, he goes, do Oklahomans have cars or do you guys just drive tractors? <laughs> I'm like, okay, dude. Okay, that's just angry. Okay, that's, that's, that's just, that's just backwards. Like, yeah, I, I realize oh. we're backwards. I will claim it. <laughs> I will run with it. But we do have cars. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's our John Deere out in the lot, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> That holds like 80 people. <laughs> That's here. We've yeah. just modified it so it looks like a bus. <laughs> yeah. Gosh, that is so went from funny. the green to the yellow. <gasps> yeah, I swear. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. So oh Ted's here. Hey, hey Ted. Ted. Ted Davies Hi, Artistry. Ted. Ted is a great author, a great artist, and he uh did the artwork for my new ghost story in pulp reality too. So you guys gotta check that out. It's awesome. Cool. Good, good guy. Yeah, awesome stuff. We love Ted. He's Pretty fantastic. Cool. Okay, so let's see. Was there anything that we've missed? Of course, I know we just kind of talked in general here, but is there any other topics that you wanted to make sure we we brought up to readers today? <clears throat> um, let's discuss world peace. Oh, okay. Well, I got to go get the chickens. There are <laughs> <There's none. laughs> And there you go. The conversation's over. Um, no, I'm I'm really looking. I'm really excited that um, things are moving in the right direction to get people back out and about, and you know, um, looking forward to getting back to some cons and seeing yeah. my people yes. and some them that they almost die because I know. Oh, yes. Do you have anything coming up uh, con-wise for, for you I, guys? I, I don't. I don't. Um, so PendCon um, I'm doing, but they shifted the last two years out. So I um, actually yeah. won't be there until 23. So, oh. <clears throat> so I'll be there for, yeah. So you think, you think um, if you had it in person next year, we won't be seeing you next year then. It'll be the 20. No, no, not at that one. Just because there wasn't, there wasn't room. Now, I mean, I might you know, slide in if somebody ends up not being able to go or anything like that. So, yeah, but it as it stands, yeah. it does. And it's always last minute. Yeah, <laughs> so it's like, yeah. so, yeah. So, yeah. Um, so I may end up doing that, um, yeah. but definitely 23. Um, but I think maybe as other stuff comes up, I mean, hopefully, you know, there'll be something that comes up sometime next year that might be a little bit, maybe even a little more local to Carolinas or, yeah. you know, um, I'm just keeping, you know, an eye out for yeah. stuff like that. Cause I do really do miss being out there and miss seeing, yeah. you know, my, um, my, all my bookish friends and seeing readers and, you know, stuff like that. So. Yeah. And it's, it, it's funny. I didn't realize, I mean, I knew I loved doing the cons, but I didn't realize how much I missed them until we couldn't do them. And right. then it was like, I felt isolated all of a sudden. And I, I told him, I said, I just realized all my friends live everyone, everywhere but here. <laughs> because I don't have anybody that I'm like, well, I mean, I could go see them when things get better. Like, no, right. plane ticket. <laughs> right. It's yeah. It's just, yeah. It's just crazy. But I, you know, I think when it's one of those things that we've learned to appreciate more. Yeah. There's a lot of things that we've all been able to, to learn to appreciate, but this is one of them. I mean, yeah. going to cons and doing that, it's, it's, it's not cheap. It's, I mean, you're, no, you know, it, no, it's, it's, it's a costly thing, but it's something, it's an investment in, in your career and your business. And, you know, and if you don't treat your writing career, like, like a business, you're not going to have a writing career. Um, yeah. So, 
Yeah. But I love doing it. And as long as I can, I mean, I'm, I'm going to go, you know, when, yeah. when they're around. So yeah, we're the same way. We, if it, an opportunity yeah. presents itself and we're able to be here, we're going to be here or be there wherever yeah. it is. Uh, let's see. Carl says, great show. Good to meet Annalisa. We're glad you joined us. Carl. Carl. And yes, thank you. Show. So sorry <laughs> late for the party. That's okay. You've been traveling. <laughs> Yes, you've been partying oh, every night. She's oh, been goodness. on the beach. I, I'm jealous. Oh my gosh, so jealous. Oh yeah, I miss the beach so badly. Oh, um, but yeah. uh, okay, guys. So I'm gonna pop this up here again so that we make sure you all see it. So it's Facebook.com/slash Author Annalisa Grant. So make sure you go like her page, follow. Um, do whatever you got to do to make sure you're getting notifications. Facebook keeps changing stuff. So who the heck knows, but figure it out, <laughs> figure it out, <laughs> figure it out. Cause we, we want to chat with you guys and it's hard when, when nothing's being seen anymore. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then also yeah. there's Instagram and Twitter in the show notes. Mm -hmm. So you guys can check that out yep. as well. Um, easy. Look for her Amazon page. Um, I don't have, uh, that, okay. but look, yeah. If you look, look, if you put her name in, it's going to pop up. Yeah. Um, and you'll see her books. Let's see here. Where's and make sure you definitely check out Oxblood, The Cure, and Mind Games. And then there's another one coming. Yep. And then of another course, one she coming. Has Lake series. She's got uh, 99 Days, which is her really dark one. So yep. if you if you <laughs> if you, you like wanna, that kind of you, thing, go for it. You want to get these and read them so that you can critique the movie. Yes. Yes. Because <laughs> right. Yes. Make make sure. So so if you complain, you can't complain if you haven't read the books first. That's right. <laughs> right. That's right. And I you promise we'll like Hollywood screwed this up too. <laughs> <laughs> I promise that when the time comes, I will do everything I can to make sure that they are as true to the story as possible. So. Yes, 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 absolutely. And you can only do so much. You, know, you just you right. you don't have control over it. I I did have learned that after talking to other people that have had stuff optioned. They're like, yeah. I have very little say so at this point. <laughs> yeah, there comes, a, there does come a certain point. So, but <clears throat> I have a certain um, agent who is uh, really good at advocating for me. So that's good. We'll see what happens. But, yeah. but she has said, honey, even I can't do that. So <laughs> yeah, there, there's only so much. Yeah. But I know she can do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But you guys, yeah, go check out the books, get them read, get ahead of the game so that when this stuff comes out with movies or TV series or whatever they're option for, you're ready to go. You're not, right. you can be like, I read that a long time ago uh, and uh, I'm not, I'm not jumping on a trend here. I know all right. about it. <laughs> right. You guys be the OGs. Okay. Be the OGs. Yes, right. <laughs> yeah. I was one of those people that hadn't read you until the this, this series came on and now I'm like obsessed. I didn't, I didn't read it. I, I watched the first, I watched the first two. I mean, should I still yeah. read the book? Should I, okay. Is so it just one? I'm just getting started into the books. So I can't really say to, but I'm like, I need to read it now because I know there's something yeah. missing. You mean, you know, there oh, is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. it's so good. The show is, is so good. That, and if the that, show is that good, it, it I'm would getting, be hard. It would be hard to outdo that show. It's very, yeah. Yeah, it's I mean, very good. You would, you would like to hope that was exactly the way the book was written. Or at least close, <laughs> you know, yeah. Right. yeah I love right. that show. So amazing. Um, so, yeah. oh, Ted says, I mean, John and Amy, we'll see you in Michigan one of these days. Yes, we will. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure we'll oh, eventually God. make it back to Once Upon a Book. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. And I want to go. Move. Yes. <laughs> and and Annalisa goes for that one, too. Frank yes. And Frank and Moose. Yes. Yes. One. So yes, beignets. That. That's, yes, that's all like it just beignets, beignets. A little place from across from the um, uh, hotel that sells beignets. Uh -huh. He's like obsessed. Uh -huh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's a place there that sells beignets across from yeah. the hotel. Oh, they make them okay. while you wait. Okay, so oh. next time we're all there, <laughs> we gotta go together and get beignets. Yes. It, okay. It's in that. It's it just south of the hotel across <laughs> the parking lot. Strip. That little strip of things. There's a little mom and pop beignet shop oh in there. Oh my gosh, the guy is okay. yeah, he's 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 the he's the real deal. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's amazing. Yes, is that the same place where the where the beef jerky place is? Uh yes, it's yes. that same area. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yes. Eric yeah. actually told me about the beef jerky place. So. <laughs> of course, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Eric and the beef jerky, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. missing a bourbon store. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah then Eric would definitely be. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, Oregon coast, nothing more beautiful. Yeah, I oh, agree. All oh, your pictures did not. Yes. It was amazing. And so Carly Curly nice. says, thanks for being here, Annalisa. Yes. Oh, we thank you for having me, guys. That you have yes. joined us. We're, we've hit an hour. Wow. Oh, yeah. So, that went by yeah, it did go by in a hurry. So we'll wrap it up here. But thank you again for joining us, you guys. Absolutely. Annalisa Grant, uh, author Annalisa Grant on Facebook. Okay. Make sure you check it all out. You're not going to be disappointed, okay? Yes. Um, and uh, if you'll hang around a minute, Annalisa will chat after the show. Sounds good. Um, okay, sounds good. All right, we will say our goodbyes and call it a night. Call so it thank you for joining us. All right. Okay, guys, thank you again so much for joining us. We appreciate it so much. Yes. Next week, oh, now we're, we, we do have an announcement to make. We are getting ready to wind down this season of Creative as Hell. So we only have a few more on, on the books right now. Um, but next week, as long as things go as planned, things are still kind of up in the air with his schedule. We should have actor Santiago, Santiago Cirillo with us next week, guys. He's been on The Walking Dead. Um, he's been, um, he's got a lot of his own, like, uh, Rosalie horror movie where he's, oh my gosh, he's great in it. So definitely want to check him out and he is one of the funniest people i have ever met every time we're at a convention with him we are laughing until we have tears running so you guys will definitely want to check this interview out next week on, on a thursday so join us next week and we will i believe that's the fourth i think so i think it's june 4th yeah so we'll have that one the following week i believe we're taking off yep. i don't have my calendar we are on our 30th Anniversary. Yeah, we are on, taking a trip for our 30th anniversary. So we're we're going to go enjoy a week away. So we're skipping a week. And then we're coming back. We'll have Eric Asher coming up in June. And I believe we're still working dates again. Um, we will have Wiley um, Johnson from Die Criminal joining us, you guys. Um, he used to be the front man for For the City, who has opened for Hailstorm and some other great bands. So we're looking forward to having him on as well. So join awesome. us next week. And uh, until then, you guys have a fantastic night. And we will see you next week. Have a good, safe Memorial Day weekend, okay? Safe. Yes, safe being the key word there. So, all right, guys, have a good night. Be strong. Be strong.